Ladies and gentlemen, it's been literally 84 years! But what just happened? It just happened, bro. It just happened. Season 2, episode 8 of A Hell of a Boss. The Full Moon has finally dropped! Dude, the thumbnail alone is getting me so excited. We got Stolitz happening. We got the Cherubs coming back. We got the Dorks from Season 1. This might be one of the most insane episodes of all time. I am so locked in right now. Oh. Dude, I love... By the way, just saying, Stolitz... Literally stole my heart. Bro is the best character in Hell of a Boss, for sure. <coughs> what? Thank you to the butterflies in my stomach. I haven't felt this nervous since I was a little fluffy down nesting. My daring do is hard. What? We're starting with a song? What is even going on? Disguise behind the smile. My beak is grinding, never minding. I swore I wouldn't dwell on the divorce. So for I feel like this is literally how I wake up every morning. You wake up every morning, you look like a meth addict, you turn the alarm off, you throw up, you smile and sing and then you just start reminding yourself of all the terrible shit that happens in your life and then you smile again because you wipe it out of your mind bro literally me for real for real my own health i'll remind myself that when i see him I okay all right not literally me for real for real anymore uh <laughs> shower <laughs> that's cute know that it won't feel so tough I'll believe him and not the voice that says I'm not enough. Ah, ah. I will totally believe the other people that think that I am, uh, you know, not wasting the space in the ozone layer. Ha ha, that's me, that's me. Uh, don't worry, don't worry. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna focus on, you know, thinking that I'm awful or anything. <laughs> Dude, this this episode is going to literally fuck me in the feels. I'm telling you. I already know it. I already know it. We're less than a minute into the episode and we're already being reminded that Stolas uh is an incredibly anxious character that despite the fact that he has people around him that seemingly say he's not terrible, he is suffering inside and he thinks nothing of himself. Great way to start this one. Woo! Just be him and me, I'll... Oh, God, and he's, like, fantasizing about it, even though it's something that... Who knows if it'll exist. This is gonna be the ultimate Blitz Stolas episode for the season, isn't it? Oh, shit. This is gonna be where it actually comes crumbling down. There are two wolves inside of me. One that thinks I'm a piece of shit, and then another wolf that's fucking the first wolf. Uh, also, obviously, he's still injured, I think, from the Striker episode? Set us free. How perfect it could be when I see him tonight. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, wait, did they? There's no way. There's no way they dropped this on Pride Month. They dropped the, uh... Okay, all right. That would have been too funny. <laughs> if Pride Month is when they would have decided to drop the... That has been a, the, the ultimate gay couple episode. But also... Bro, why do you have a horse calendar, bro? Ain't no cock like horse. That's a lot of horses. What? What is going on? See him tonight. All right, all right. It's been a while since he begged for attention. Wait, uh, is this the first Blitz singing in all of Hell of a Boss? Nani? Are we okay? <laughs> Can't really say. I'm getting by by avoiding his questions. Bro, I love this, the characters, right? You got Blitz, who does him, he, he thinks he is unlovable. So because he thinks he is unlovable, more horses! Okay, bro has an, dude is an actual freaking Vosh fan. What is even going on? But also, uh, like, he is someone that doesn't believe he deserves love, so he constantly will look at Stolas as someone that can't possibly love him. And Stolas is someone that doesn't think that, uh, Dude, they are literally polar opposites. It's such a wildly gr gratuitous relationship. Dude, but there's horses everywhere, though. I can't unsee this. This is horrifying. It's so complicated. I hate when it's complicated. Why do I always end up in situations that are complicated? Oh, you, just like everyone else on the planet. Here I go again, getting in my head, so I'll focus on the sexy stuff instead. When I... Based, 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 based. See... 
Watch the hell of a boss with subtitles. They're extra messages. Now nah, we watch it regular. We'll get into it. When I see him, I'm gonna do that thing he likes. <laughs> oh my god. This fucking guy. He's like, oh, hey, we should talk. And he's like, no, talking is complicated. Puts on his, his bad boy underwear. I will change things. No need things. to change things. I'll just... Oh, God. No, no. I will change things. It's like, no, no, no. No change as fuck. No change as fuck. Why change? It's good as it is. It could be better, but it could also be worse. So why change? Ah, this is why you got to talk in a relationship, man. Bring the rope and spikes. Oh, God. Did he just say he'll bring the rope and spikes? Got a nice arrangement, and it's working out just fine. We'll keep it light. Ah, Luna. Fucking die alone if this goes bad. When I no! <laughs> I'll die alone if this goes bad. We need to talk. It'll change everything. And then he's like, no, no change. We go. We fuck this. Is this syrup in the shape of a horse? God. I see him tonight. Am I doing something I can't take back? Relax. Would he want me if he was free? We're fine. And if he's only here Bro. as a prisoner, what kind of monster does that make me? Ah, oh, true. Because, again, you got the two sides here. The two sides. Blitz, who doesn't think he could be loved. But Stolas, who doesn't understand at all. He doesn't get that Blitz is locking Stolas out because Blitz is protecting himself. Not because he doesn't like Stolas. You know? If he's here against his will, what monster does that make me? He's always going to second guess himself because Blitz doesn't talk. But Blitz doesn't talk because if Blitz talks, it opens him up to potentially getting hurt. Ah, it's so tough, man. It's so frustrating and difficult. But it's also so real. Stolas is self-deprecating and Blitz is self-destructive. It's just, it's crazy. My entire life's been written in stone and about. He taught me that I could choose. Sure. He deserves the choice to say or go. Though it's oh frick! Wait, this that was canon. That song was canon. Okay, that's wild. So this stone is a uh, a portal to the human world, and his plan is to say, "Listen, I'm giving this to you as a portal to the human world." Because Mammon, all right, Mammon gave him the stone. So this is a port. Mammon or Asmodeus? Whatever, he got the stone, he got the stone. He's gonna tell him, yo bro, I give you the stone. It's a portal to the human real, whole human realm. You no longer need my grimoire. So uh, if you want, you could never ever see me again. You, you have to put it all on the table. It scares me to think what I'd lose. Can't wait to lose ourselves in nasty sex and make that bird squawk. Really must converse. We'll just stick with what makes sense, like him sucking my- oh, This is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, missing. It's the 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 wild uh, Fizzroli fan from the previous episode. That's awesome. Waiting for the shoe to drop. Who needs words when you got a mouthful of cum to your senses? No, <laughs> mouthful of cum to your senses. Dude, th first of all, such a bop. Such a great way to frame these characters and remind you exactly how fucked up they both are. Right? One wants to actually just talk things out and evolve the relationship, and one isn't willing to take the risk and just wants to constantly blind himself and sedate himself with drugs and sex so that he doesn't actually have to think about it. And I'll do that thing with my tongue where I'm worthy of your love and trust. Oh, oh, his birth was nice and rough, and I cannot come soon. Be coming soon enough. Oh, yeah! But when All I right. see him, will it be tender or be tough? Will it please him? No, that's not the fan. That guy in the thing. He was, uh, he was the carny from the second episode that hit on Millie. Oh! Or will I just be fucking it all up? Can this be a relationship? Or am I still naive? I'll set us free. Bro. Whatever it may be. Right, because, uh, dude, this is, like, such a well-presented dilemma, right? Um... Such a well-presented dilemma. When I see him tonight. Right? It's all over. I mean, this is like a Disney song, except with a lot more sex. Basically, it's what Disney should be, right? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Imagine you see a verbal ace cameo. No. He's just the guy with the camera. Sneako chair. Uh. Oh, my God. Humans. Average human. Babe, my 
Sure hope this glass doesn't break. Bro! Yeah, what is going on? What is going on? <laughs> Oh, not the bird that just just melted in me. Oh, thank Bro, they were setting that up. They set it up so well. The the ramp and everything. The bird that dies. It's like, oh god, it's happening. And then this absolute moron eats ice cream off the ground. And and just saves the day. God, human world is somehow even crazier than a POV I find 10 shekels. True, true. Oh, thank you. Thank dude, dude w w yo, what are you? What's, what's going on you. here? How could I ever repay you? No. <laughs> Bro just wants to eat his ice cream. No need, ma'am. I was just in the right place at the right time. What? <laughs> what? Are they the cherubs? I'm Hug him so hard? I'm at underwear level, you know, and that guy clearly hadn't showered today. Oh, stop complaining! What? <laughs> First of all, don't you dare say pre watched, okay? Second of all, what? The cherubs are now robbing people in public because they were kicked out of heaven or something? What? I had to sell it, didn't I? How'd we do, Cletus? Not great! Let's set up for another run! I don't know, Cletus. Doesn't this all seem a little... sinful? Damn, wow, didn't see that one coming. We've been over this! We are still helping people! We just provided that man with an opportunity to be selfless and heroic! After yeah, yeah, I, I, I mean, that is one way to look at it, but in, in that perspective, helping people is anything. It's like when you slap someone across the face, and then you tell them, Don't raise thy hand against thy fellow! <laughs> and they hold themselves back! It's like, damn, bro. Damn, bro. We, we, we just saved that guy. We saved that guy. Nothing like self-gaslighting, am I right? After that performance, he's sure to get into heaven! We just saved a soul! Yo! I love self-gaslighting! Dude, I help people all the time. That how it works. Don't you think eternal salvation is worth 20 bucks in a queez no sponge cord? True, 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 I guess it's just You wanna eat, don't you? Wanna live long enough to save more souls and earn our way back into heaven? Of course. Oh my god, the dorks! The dorks! Dude, I'm just saying, this this fucking show is so good. How hell how did Hell of a Boss set up these two plot lines in season one and is actually finally following through with them? I just uh... Well then quiet your incessant whinging and get back under that coat! We have to Wow! Oh, oh my god! It's the dogs! Dude, I'm I'm so excited! What? Where are we? It's the same guy from season one! Wait. Ask the questions here, Hell Spawn. But I'm just a little baby. Why would you <gasps> drop the? Oh, oh, yeah, kick his ass, kick it, bro. It's literally just Jesse and James over here as the the fucking Team Rocket, the dork guys. Oh my God, yeah, child abuse. Ooh. Bullshit. You know you're working. For America. This is what the CIA does behind closed doors, but no one tells, no one calls them out. That demon filth. Where's your boss? What? Prepare for trouble and make it double. Boss. This guy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just so excited right now. Just literally. <laughs> Someone signed the art. <laughs> God damn it, bro. They literally showed them their arch nemesis. You know that? Peanut head? So that's his name. Yeah. You know. <laughs> beat the shit out of the baby. Dude, why is it that the only one they beat up was the baby? <laughs> then you could have slapped any of them across the tip. <laughs> but they only did it to the baby. I think maybe we can help each other out here. 
Oh, I'm shooting there, Mox Pro as Yeah! Dude, is he complimenting Moxie? What has happened to this man? Jewel. Millie, beautiful bloody mess in there. Fuck! What a great fucking day this is. Oh. <laughs> I love they always show the wholesome moments here, but they never show you why the day was so good, huh? Oh my god, this is hands. The freaking kunai. What, where do you even get these axes? Dude, there's a rib cage on the ground. Oh my god. You sure seem in good spirits today, sir. It's rare to see you wear something not bad. Well, it's the... First of all, fuck you. It's the... Yeah! <laughs> Dude, I love that. I love when people compliment you by uh, just giving you the most passive aggressive insult in the universe he just mortal combated everyone in that alleyway it's like oh wow nux you look pretty good today you normally look you know like a zombie oh thank you fuck you thank you full moon i gotta meet up with stolas tonight felt like dressing up a little so right full moon because you know they exchange some uh some uh some uh excitement some moxie for the grimoire. It's been a few months since I've been inside of his feathered ass. A few months? Yeah, the birds started giving me more ways out of our monthly fuck sesh. She'd be all like, oh, Blitzy, I know it's the full moon tonight, but you don't have to come if you don't want to, Blitzy. So I've just been taking breaks from having to plow his feathered ass into his. That, that was. Because, <sighs> of course. Stolas feels so bad that he feels like it's a fake relationship. He he hates the idea that, the, like, in his mind, he wants it to be a real relationship. So he needs to keep coming up with excuses to not feel like he is abusing him. Like, as far as a, like, you know, a power imbalance type shit. So I guess this is taking a few months after Ozzy's episodes. Oh, Blitzy, don't worry. It'll all be okay. I am totally not dying in self-loathing now or anything, Blitzy. Fancy ass mattress. Ugh. TMI, sir. Point being, tonight I feel like I could use a little. Are they shoving a half a corpse into a trash can? Okay. Fuckery. It's been a good day, feeling like my stamina's up, and I'm horny. Oh shit, he's getting bored of you. What? Yeah, man. Oh my god, they think he's playing hard to get. No, oh, this is why you never talk to your daughter about romance. If someone wants to see you less and less, big red flag. No! Don't talk to, to, to the teenager, the emo teenager about relationship advice. They're out there scrolling through book talk, okay? If they give you chances to ditch, they probably want out themselves. Just want to be more passive aggressive about it. Dicks. How do you know? Yeah, base, get him, killer, destroyer, annihilator. You so right, you so right, bestie. You so right. She, what does she know? What does she know? This, this is, this is, God, dude, dude, what does she know, bro? Bro, bro stole this ain't woman. She, and she can't give advice, okay? All right? Listen, I know every time you're dating someone, you ask a whammon for advice about dating whammon. This is just the rules of the universe, okay? Luna. Because I do that all the time. Well, tits. Damn. Guess I finally got to do position 37 tonight. No, nope. no, don't. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Don't worry, though. This book ain't going nowhere. If I have anything to fuck about it, I'll dick him so good. He'll let us keep this thing another year easy. Well, I hope so, sir. Business is actually hit a peak, and it would be disaster. Let's go. As you can tell by the, the squiggly red arrow that is pointing upwards, things are going incredibly well. Risk to lose what we worked for now. So fuck him good, sir. Nope. <laughs> fuck him good, sir. <laughs> that is the greatest <laughs> Dude, I need me a, a fucking moxie in my life. You know what I'm saying? Oh god, we all need a moxie in our life. I'm just saying. Don't worry, Mox. By the end of the night I'll have Stolas eating out of my ass. If the gag will let him. <laughs> Alright, you know, I am I'm <laughs> Stop <laughs> Okay, grow up, Mox. It's what adults do. We're horny. <laughs> <laughs> it's what adults do. Right, 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 yeah. Fuck me, Moxie. We've used like all the shit in this box. I, if Stolas is bored after this, I... why a horse tail though? Oh my god, brother! Oh, I need to up the ante, Moxie. I need you to hold down the fort. Get some. It's a horse bag. Overdue paperwork done. Why was there a moxie puppet in here? I, I'm sorry, I can't stop. I can't, I can't, I can't. We've used like all the sh Why is there a horse painting in the background? 
Nay, Blitzy, nay. Get in this box. I have stole. What is that? What is the Moxie what doll? Is this board after this? All right, dude. I I, I, I need to up the ante. Moxie, I need you to hold. Bro, Vivzy Pop watched one uh, Vosh interview and then the, her entire worldview changed. Hold down the fork. Get some overdue paperwork done. What overdue paperwork? <laughs> ah, I see. <laughs> Just give to Moxie. All right, nice. So why would a bunch of angels be looking for demons? We just want to get back into- We're exorcists! The flaming swords of the heavens! Here to strike them down- Exorcists, hilarious. Because the, obviously the humans don't know what's actually going up out there in the divine realm. So they can make believe they're exorcists. With fire vengeance! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! We lay in wait for them to return to Earth. So we might smite them once and for all! You guys talking to- Ow! Maybe you don't have to wait. Come with us. Oh my god, bro. Dude, dude, they're pretending to be exorcists. Oh lord. If hell is forever, then heaven must be a lie. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I just got excited for a second. There. Uh, what? They could literally fly. They could literally just fly. Dude, the dorks. Pope guns? Pope guns? Pope shadow clones with guns? Oh my god. I am Father Anderson. I and all of my Pope clones look the same. It is I, the Ecclesiarch. Since their assault on Compound X, our government has quadrupled our funding and allowed us unfettered uh, access to the most bleeding edge military advancement. Oh my, wait, that's the brain. They're literally growing popes. They are genetically Demon. mutatedly growing pope clones. <laughs> Wipe out their inferior race. I, Father Anderson. Will annoy it. Dude, what is going on? This is the greatest fucking lore dive of all time. Dude, the Moxie and uh, and Blitz get caught in one episode and they accidentally fucking started a uh, a whole SCP foundation in the real world. On a containment cells, hell fire suppression suits, camouflage exoskeletons. Oh my god. And a battalion of <laughs> That's just a furry costume. Suppression suits. All right, that one's obviously Blitz. All right, I was obviously Billy. I was Moxie, baby. I don't know, whatever. And a <laughs> fucking Luna furry costume. The end. Oh my god, dude! It just looks exactly like the furry shit. Of highly trained combat priests. All so we could finally utilize this. Wait, did they open an? Did they actually get a portal to the to hell? Our ticket to the other side. An extra dimensional portal generator. Holy shit, bro. What the fuck? They made a Stargate. They made a Stargate! What is even going on? I am literally so lost. Bro, the dorks are actually becoming the main character of Doom. This bad boy will allow us to open a door straight into hell, where we plan on eliminating the demonic threat before they can tarnish this great country. <laughs> this great country! <laughs> the country! <laughs> Not the world. Oh, fuck the Russians, am I right? <laughs> the country. They just casually opened up a, a Gravity Falls portal into hell. Casually. They skipped Doom 1 and went straight to Doom 2. <laughs> well, uh, once we work out all the kinks, yeah. Kinks. We've only been able to open the portal about two feet in diameter. Hardly big enough to fit a child through. And we can What? Very well said, children. But after last time. Oh! <laughs> America! America! Let's go! America! We can only fit in small ones. We'll send in child soldier D class personnel. Yeah, yeah, you can't send in children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those goddamn American heroes. Yeah, America! America! Fuck. 
Honestly, we're not even sure that was hell we sent them to. Point is... It might have just been, you know, the eternal endless void of the Cthulhu mythos. We could use someone or someones with more experience. How about it, little guys? Wanna, Wanna help us hunt some demon scum? Holy shit, how did this become the greatest fucking plotline of all time? Can you, can you explain to me how the cherubs and the dorks made the coolest fucking plotline in the history of time? <laughs> What? <laughs> what what is even happening right now? They literally just have they have Power Ranger cherubs that they're d jumping. <laughs> it's literally Jesse and James. Holy shit. <laughs> they even have the robots. They even have the robots. It's me, the Pikachu Suckinator 6000. Wait, who the fuck? What? Did they just have one random FNAF furry suit? No, <laughs> they dejectedly walking away. It's the one guy that wanted to glomp in there. <laughs> Had to leave. No glomping in hell. <laughs> James, sorry. Oh man. This little portal. Oh my god, I can't this is actually insane. This 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 is building up to maybe being one of the best hell of a boss episodes of all time. I I almost don't want this plot line to end. I, I don't mind if the cherubs get absolutely yoinked out of existence, okay? The, the, they they could get out of here, okay? I don't care. The dorks, I want them to become like an actual major threat in Hell of a Boss. Has been Hotel Season 2 could obviously focus, up, focus on the hierarchy of heaven and hell and, and all that shit. But I really want to see like an actual SCP Foundation humans versus demons. That would be wild. We could focus in has been hotel on the the sinners and the angels and we could focus in hell of a boss on the actual hell spawn and the humans actual insane story progression guys this this is being written without ai okay can you explain to freaking disney why they need to get off their high horse and take some risks god damn where are they lust city i mean it's all just boobs and legs so it's probably lust Welcome, little one. Oh, he's in Lust City to buy some new shit to wow his boyfriend. That's so cute. Oh my god. What can I interest you in today? That is the greatest voice acting of all time. I'm looking for a snazzy candle. One that screams sexy. Okay. You got anything that'll get anyone in the mood? Is he just candles? Does this guy just send sell creepy candles? Hey. Bitch, you're in the lust ring. Everything you. All right, lust ring. That is a penis. That that that's just a penis. Love that. That's sexy energy. But what kind of mood are you aiming for? Just horny, very very horny. All right, that's all right. horny. They're all horny. But, but that's a penis. What's the mood? I don't know. I'm a simple pervert imp. I just need something fun. We got the actual freaking Power Rangers just rolled up on this man. Oh, there he is. Let's take him. Hold on. Where's the rest of them? He wasn't alone before. I say we follow him for a bit. Did they gave the Kamina glasses to the baby? Oh my god. Make sure he's by himself. Cletus, if we don't do this, we're never getting back into heaven. Which is why we have- You really think the best way to get back into heaven is to assassinate some random demons that are doing demon shit? Let the man buy his sex toys, okay? To make sure this goes smoothly. We have only one shot. It has to be perfect. <laughs> That's literally your best shot. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just boobs. Like, they know what we want. That easy. Do you know the measurements of the other one? Uh, not really, but he's tall as Dude, shit. The lustring, everyone in the lustring has a lot of legs. Well, we have some Who names someone Cletus? <laughs> Dude, it 
it's, it's, I don't know, it's Fetus, but Cletus, I don't know, it's a peak cherub name, okay? Pretty long harnesses. Also can't go wrong with something that stretches. Ooh, that is fancy. All right, I'm into it. Yo, you three are in an actual sex house right now. I don't know if you're getting back to heaven after this. Sweet heavens, what kind of store is this? Oh, it just sells, you know, a co it's a co cosplay store. This guy truly is a sicko! Can I help you all? <laughs> Hello, fellow vile hell beast! We are on a totally normal- Oh my fucking god, dude. <laughs> no! Demon day! Just out looking to get some good tormenting in! We need some good tor- <laughs> Torture? Supplies. Well, you have come to the right. <laughs> he can't even say the words. Bro can't even say the right words. He so <laughs> they don't know what sex is, bro. They're just like you guys, chat. They've never... They've never... All right. Place my slightly robotic looking friend. What oh. kind of torturing are we looking to do? Oh, you know, just your standard pain. As long as it doesn't hurt too much. Like, do you have any harshly worded bumper stickers? Uh-oh. Uh, or something for a mild spanking? Oh, that be a spank! We got you locked in a crop, your whips, your whisks, set it, unset it, wooden legend! Whisks?! What the hell do you do with a whisk?! <laughs> Alright, Cletus, get the fuck out of there. <laughs> a whisk?! Okay, the rest of this I could, like... Titanium whips, so what do you need to? Bro, Spider Guy is actually just the best guy. Spider Dude out there, Goon Master. I don't know if that's exactly what we're looking for. What was <laughs> dying? Oh, Cletus. What's that other horrid hell spawn looking man? Oh, just some of those. <laughs> they are not in their element. Or, or, or he's doing the most wholesome thing ever. Fashion, we have to stop him. Not yet. We have to wait for our moment. Oh, my yeah, God. Thanks for doing it. These, these guys, literally. Oh, let's go. The bros. Dude, this episode has everyone. Everyone. This is the, the actual Avengers Assemble episode. We got Fizz. We got the dorks. Got the cherubs! Give me the solid fizz. I gotta get the good shit for tonight, and I know you and Oz make the best toys in town. I got you, buddy. We have uh, some new prototypes that I think will get the. Did you? Did, uh, what? Did, did you, wait, 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 I think we'll get the, get the job done. You just make the fucking just make it come and it opens the door. I don't, you know, uh, all right. For a fancy gentleman like yourself. All right, all right. All right, wow. Now, we have got these new beads. Ooh, they're, they're made of real obsidian. Uh, that's pretty awesome, I guess. Oh, that's beautiful. But, you know, Stolas never really seemed into the beads. Oh, right. <laughs> into the beads. Right into the beads. I get it. Fancier, then. We have some stylish blindfolds. Our new collection has encrusted jewels. But you can't see! Oh, shit. Those are nice. And if you're feeling really frisky, right. we have... All right, all right. Dragon Driller 5000. What the fuck? Fuck is that? Holy sh bro, that th th that's like the the weapons they have in Warhammer. Brother, that, 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 look at the size. That's like a chainsaw sword in Warhammer. This is the type of things you see Lionel Johnson carrying into the battlefield. Now with vibration, it's a chainsaw. You have to actually rev it like a chainsaw. <laughs> what well, tentacles come out of it? Oh my god, this is like insane. Holy shit. When they said Pussy Destroyer 9000, I was not expecting this. There we go, that- What, what are you gonna do? Where are you gonna put that? Well, <laughs> there we go! Yeah, yeah, just make sure the blindfold is first, or I don't know. It's his speed, I will take that. 
All right. Heavens, what is this place? Ozzy's gonna make some sentimental sounds. Sorry, I love that Ozzy episode so much. The demon lord is Modius, the embodiment of love. Give it a thrust. Show me some love. From the groin to the bust. Everything urges most in the house of Asmodia. It's so heavily guarded. Uh, armory? A war room? What? Don't you realize stealth is our greatest advantage here? No, your greatest advantage is that you are actual Power Rangers. Oh, darling, look. Voyeurs. Positively adorable, darling. <laughs> Fuck. I think he's coming in. Oh! <laughs> Need a forklift to carry it. Oh my god, dude! They actually power crept sex. Like you don't understand, bro. You don't understand. In Yu-Gi-Oh, now every every turn takes twenty minutes to set up your fucking four hundred card combo, bro. That's power creep in a card game, bro. This is power creep in the bedroom. What is even going on? Actual kaiju dildo. What's that? Rip Stolas. You were a good man. I appreciate you, bro. Dear God. He's going to use that on an innocent person? Oh, it shrinks. Then why do you need the forklift? All right, you know, on a... <laughs> you're going to put it in, and then you're going to open it on the inside. Oh, God. Oh, no. Dad, we have to stop him now. You're right. Okay, guys, it's time. Now's our moment. All Remember right. everything that horny little fudge knuckle did to us, because now... We make him pay yeah. for the humans, for the heavens, and most of all for us. Yeah, personal vengeance for justice, but also because I'm a little T. I'm a little peeved. Let's go kick some ass. Fuck him up. Oh, Mulu. <laughs> She just absolutely walloped him. She came out of nowhere. Bro, this is the greatest reverse jumping in the history of anime. What? How did you go? Find ya? We were already following our dumbass boss to make sure he doesn't fuck up and lose our meal ticket. Oh my god, bro. Dude, you were getting followed. Oh my god. And you weren't exactly covert. You got a lot of nerve coming to our neighborhood after the ass kicking you took last time. Oh shit, dude, I did not see this coming at all, bro. The ultimate reverse jump. Bro, Madara, sit down. A lot of nerve and a lot of upgrades, much. Oh god. The boss. No! Out, bitch. <laughs> he just found a shekel and he's like, oh, he literally saved his life. Luna, you rest, you were late. Luna, you did not help. Don't say no, you don't bitch all cockily like that, and he still takes the shot. No, you don't, bitch. I love how she says no, you don't bitch. Like she actually just saved the day. Meanwhile, this dude's just like, ooh, shiny. Casually accidentally kills Chad there out the side. But he doesn't even care. It's literally his best day. Literally his best day. Oh, that little face he makes when he puts it in his pocket. He's so cute. Hey, wake up, asshole. <laughs> He's such an asshole. I love him. All right. Damn! Damn! I love how these guys are like actually just beefed up, but they still don't stand a chance. Sorry, hun. You can play as me, but that don't mean you're anywhere close. Ah! Oh, get up! No, it's Cletus! Oh my god! Hey, good shot there, Mox. Oh god! Welcome to <laughs> he feels so powerful right now. He feels so powerful. How, bitch? It's, just, it's like uh, when the overpowered player walks up to the underleveled player, but the underleveled player is a speedrunner and gets absolutely just clobbered. Uh-oh. Wait, what? 
Dude, she is actually overpowered as shit. It's insane. She's just riding him. Look at this. She's using him like a skateboard. And tied him up. Oh, God. Well. He's <laughs> just firing everything. All right, all right. Riding, she's into riding men. Listen, we, we all know. We all know. We know who wears the pants in this relationship, okay? <laughs> Don't worry, you'll be fine. Falling out of the air, so she picks up a missile and just shoots a random billing. She's like, "Oh, yeah, let's uh, let's commit domestic terrorism real quick." <laughs> just throw him away. Yeah, cause that's how it works. All right, dude. All right, dude. Dude, why send them back? Keep them. Keep them, bro. Uh, so, how to go? Why is he wearing the the fur suit with the leash? Oh. Oh my god, oh, dude. Bro, why are they glomping in there? Dude, Jesse James. Meowth was just the fucking costume all along. Heidi ha hoo ha stole this. Guess what I got for us? And I got lots of fun shit for us to. Oh god, I feel the background music is gonna start uh, hitting us in the in the field. The ball of feels. The field testicles are gonna get clobbered right now. You're gonna step on my heart testicles. Play with tonight, like this extra large candle that smells like. <sighs> Horny! Yeah! It's my favorite smell. I got, I got what, whatever uh, this. Why does your butt plug have a mustache? Well, guy is. But I'm sure there's some place in your cloaca we can stick it. And look at this okay. bad boy. Oh my God! They can't even show it. They just show the shadow. They just show the shadow. <laughs> and he's like. Ooh. Do you <clears throat> Do you have my book, Blitz? Uh-oh. 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 Yeah, uh Great. It's the two worst pe communication havers of all time. I've had to have a conversation. Damn. I do love me when two people that have loads and buttloads of trauma are about to have an actual conversation. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I, it's right here. I always bring it. Why do you... I need it back. Permanently. No, no, no. Ho hold on, Stolas. Come on. Is this because I've taken up skipping a few rounds with you in bed because I'm busy? That ain't fair. All right, I, I, I can still hold up my... Because I'm busy? He was avoiding Stolas? He lied? He lied, bro? I disagree. Stolas is trying so hard to communicate. Yeah, but he doesn't know how to communicate with Blitz. He's obviously trying. He wants to talk the entire time, but, and I'll send like an entire super long message, but when you're communicating with people, you have to communicate with them on their wavelength. These two guys are not communicating on the same wavelength at all. And while yes, in uh, certain contexts, I'm sure each of them can communicate, um, the point is the person you're talking to, you know? It's a matter of perspective. Stolas never understood Blitz, and Blitz never understood Stolas. Um, they like each other, and they both have to hide it. They hide it because he feels like he'll never get a straight answer because um, Blitz always needs the book out of him, and he hides it because he doesn't think he's worthy of love, especially from someone that's noble, so he has to constantly be hiding it as well. Um, ah, shit. Ah, shit. 
end of the bargain. All right, let, let me show you a good time tonight. You know I can. Please don't say it like that, Blitz. I Come on, bitch. You know I don't disappoint. No, 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 no. There's no need. I've made up my mind. Stolas, please, do I, I need this book. Please. I Dude, see, but for example, Stolas is doing a terrible job right now in regards to the conversation, right? Stolas should say to him, listen, I want to talk about our relationship or whatever this is. Him asking for the book first is obviously not how you converse with Blitz, right? I need this book, Stolas. I will do anything. This is an Asmodian crystal. It's registered in your name. Uh, what? Asmodeus has his demons legally travel to Earth to work all the time. I made the case for you to own one. You will be technically under his jurisdiction, but you will be able to go anywhere you want in the human realm. Bro, you see, couldn't you have started with that, bro? I get you at the bell. You wanted him to sweat a little bit, but you couldn't start with that, dude. Oh my god! And then you have yeah, you have fuck knuckles in my chat being like, oh, yeah, yeah, he knows how to communicate. What are you talking about, bro? This is not someone who knows how to communicate. They are not talking on the same wavelength, dude. He still sounds like he wants to break up. What he really wants to do is say, listen, Blitz, I mean, I want to make sure that you don't feel like this relationship is a power imbalance. And I want you to know that I am here for you, okay? And I want to know when you're here that you should be here for me. That is the conversation. Here you have two people that do not know how to talk to each other constantly talking over each other. Without f and I'm, I'm not saying this is bad writing, not by a long shot. Most relationships, I feel like, crumble due to lack of communication. Uh, it's so important. Blitz kept interrupting and talking over Stolas. Stolas trying to get it out. Dude, it's both. It's every relationship has two sides. There's two people in every relationship. And you know what? They're both going to be hardwired differently because guess what? They're different people fear of consequence without breaking demon law you no longer need my grimoire what you no longer have any obligation to see me to touch me to bed me you are you You're are free, free. Of me. i don't understand why are you giving me this am i not like fucking you good enough because i, I can always I see but like here's the thing because he likes stolas too that's the thing. He loved the fact that the grimoire was an excuse to meet up with him because he doesn't think he's worthy of love. So he, that, that's been his character trait the entire time. Between Fizz, between Stolas, everywhere he goes, he doesn't feel worthy of love. So when this happens, he is immediately going to interpret it as, this isn't a present, this is Stolas not loving him. Even though Stolas d wants it to be like a no strings attached relationship. I can always do better. Blitz, I'm giving you this because I care very deeply for you. And I have for some time. But Spit this King. transactional thing we have, it's not right anymore. It hasn't been. It never was. And now all I can see is how wrong it is to be so tethered to someone in such an unfair way. Bro, just be like, power imbalances are shit. You cannot be in a real relationship if you love someone if the only reason that they're here is because they feel like they need to. And not know how they feel. But I want you to continue to be who you are. Your business. You don't have to stay here with me. But I want you to. Ah! <laughs> I want you to stay here with me because you want to. Ah! Oh. Ah! Uh, uh, just say it. Say say you like the guy. Don't don't just be like don't don't pussyfoot around. D bro, this man is a fucking politician over here, right? The dude's a nobility. He knows how to pussyfoot around. I want you to stay here with me because I know you want to stay here. I don't want you to stay here because you think I want you here and therefore you want to be here for me to want you here. Just say it, bro. Be like, bitch, I love you. Come on, man. If you want to. Okay, all right, you're fucking with me. And and Blitz is so incapable 
of realizing that someone can actually love him. Even though this is what he wants. Oh, God, dude! Dude, oh. This is an interesting role play. Never done this one, but I can get into it. All right, how's this? Oh, Stolas, I'll stay. He, he so doesn't, he so cannot fathom the idea that someone actually likes him. What an insanely in-character, fucked up psychology. It, it, this isn't just like a fumble, okay? This is a tragic character. Blitz is a tragic character that does not feel worthy of love. And everything he's done in his entire life that led him to this point, between him and his sister, between him and his brother, between him and every relationship he's had with everyone, he feels like. And therefore, when uh, when Stolas will say this to him, he'll immediately interpret it as like some sort of role play thing because there's no way that he actually is loved. It's so sad. It's so sad. So many people's prisons are their own mental fortitude. My prison is my shame, as a tiny chimera said in Adventure Time. Hey, with you, I love you so much. He thinks he wants the love role play. He's like, oh, you had enough of the power imbalance role play? I guess you want the love role play now. Oh, God, it's actually painful. It's so painful. Dude, insane. I Thank you, Blitz. Four. Awakening me, or making me so happy. And, and 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 here's the thing: Stolas can't get the idea that Blitz isn't hearing what he's saying. Th this is why I say that there's that they're bad at communication because they can't communicate with each other. Stolas is if Stolas would hear those words from Blitz, he'd be the happiest guy in the world. But he doesn't hear those words, you know. <laughs> Stolas needs a conversation, and Blitz, that's not how he operates. Even if only for a little while. I wish you the best with your business. Wait, what? You are serious? Oh, hold on now, Stolas. What the fuck? I have my answer, Blitz. You No, you don't. You don't even have your answer! Because you don't understand the person that you're talking to. You don't understand the, the tinted glasses that he looks at you through. He didn't say anything. I have wanted you for so long. The fact that you couldn't believe that I might have these feelings about you, that your first instinct is that it's always about sex. That's enough to know what this is. What? Fuck you, Stolas. You s <laughs> Yeah! Oh my god. Bring this feelings bullshit on me. Are you fucking kidding? Can I get a fucking minute to think after everything you put me through, you- You put him through? Pompous, rich asshole! Treat me like one of your little butler imps! You can't just dismiss me like that! I mean, you royal fucks- Because he-, uh, he like, this is- <sighs> Blitz using his ag ag aggressivity as a coping mechanism to fight back. Because if the thing is, if Blitz didn't care, he would be like, oh, okay then. And he would just leave, you know? <laughs> he would literally just be like, all right, in that case, I'll go now. But no, he's chasing him to vent because he doesn't want it to end. I think you can do this every time. Like, you can just play with our feelings because we're smaller and not as if- why, why are you crying, bro? Why are you crying? You gonna keep hitting him with petty insults? See- <sighs> Important. Bro, bro's shadow boxing right now, fighting his own demons. He's saying he is telling Stolas the reason why he was never able to open up to him because this in his heart is how he always thought Stolas saw him. So this is the ultimate coping. And uh, unfortunately, Stolas, who just you know communicates via long, drawn out conversations instead of raw emotions. Uh, Stolas is gonna hear these words and take them seriously, even though his heart is obviously screaming something else. Well, I'm not letting you, bitch! Let's go! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Blitz, I think so very highly of you. I didn't realize you think so low of me. Right? He, he takes everything that he's saying at complete face value. Ah, oh, He doesn't... See? This is what I mean. They can't communicate. This is what I mean they can't communicate. Blitz communicates 
through raw emotion. And um, Stolas communicates through articulate language. And they are at an absolute impasse because they can't understand each other. Goodbye, Blitz. Stolas, wait! I'm s what? And it turns out you were dealing with like a demigod guy. All right, all right, all right. You were dealing with a noble. He could teleport you anywhere. Oh my god, right in the fields, dude. Oh, dude, man. Oh, fucking shit, god damn. What good writing? How does this make me, f like, how does this hit you in the feels more than literally everything, bro? Literally everything coming out of mass produced, corporatized Hollywood bullshit. The fuck! Oh, it ends like this? Whenever I watch a relationship drama, in general, literally a billion different relationship dramas, every show ever, every single one of them needs twists and turns. Obviously, you're not going to find two people that love each other and they'll be like, oh, hey, I love you. No, I love you. No, I love you. No, I love you. And then they just love each other and everything's wholesome and happy. That... That never happens. You always need twists and turns and ups and downs. Normally, they are incredibly bullshit excuses to make uh, to make the relationships be more complicated. The relationships get overly complicated by a misunderstanding here and a misunderstanding here. This, this is just so well written. This isn't random emotional climaxes. This is people that come from different places with different traumas that communicate in different ways, hurting each other completely by accident. If you made it to the end, click one of these two videos, which also will definitely get me canceled. See you live on Game. Stay weird, man.